All right, what's good, everybody? Um, we gonna be reacting to a new video, <clears throat> different type of video. We gonna be reacting to Brooklyn versus J Cinco. Yeah, the allegations and shit. So, uh, I'm gonna give y'all the rundown, a short summary rundown. So, um, basically, Brooklyn apparently just had been speaking on. Um. Brooklyn rather feels in a negative or positive light, you know. She still wants her name out of his mouth because, you know, they're bro they've been broken up for a good while now. They're officially done. She said it was toxic. Well, they both said it was toxic. So, yeah. <clears throat> and so, she made a video, and she ain't bashed Justin or nothing. She just went on there, you know, said that it's good that they're both going their separate ways. They want better for each other by going their separate ways, and they just want to... You know, they're done, you know, and shit. And she said that the breakup was mutual. He got pissed off and made another video because he felt she lied about the breakup being mutual. And he said he broke up with her. Now, let me give you the rundown. <clears throat> now, this is why everything is going shitty. A quick rundown. <clears throat> so, yesterday, Jay Seiko made a live. And I was on his live from start to finish. I wasn't on there the whole time, but I was back and forth. And his story was adding up. And so if Brooklyn looks or sound like the bad guy, it's kind of her fault. Only because his story adds up and makes sense start from finish, from start to finish. And then on top of that, he admitted the shit he did. And then on top of that, just he gave out the whole story and it made sense. With her, she probably could have saved her own ass. Oh, and, sorry, he had uh, evidence and recipes, you know, rec receipts uh, and shit, you know. He just had evidence. He had proof. She has some proof of things, too, but her story seems more unlikely because she kept going in circles and then saying, yes, this happened, no, this happened, which made her look like she was bullshitting. So now her shit looked less believable. Now, I'm unbiased. I'm not taking any sides. I don't really care, but I'm going to react to what's hot and what's brand new. This is hot and brand new. It's sad because I fuck with both of them. I think they're both cool and I think they're both funny as fuck. But, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, if y'all know, I was going to, I was trying to get Brooklyn the Future on my uh, album. So, Gene Seiko. It was harder to get a hold of him. But, yeah. I spoke to her manager. I was going to pay $765 for her to be a future. But I think sh neither of them are going to be on my album. Not because I don't want them to, but because they got too much going on right now. And it seems like the wrong time for them to, you know. And as much as, you know, they go on the internet and say, I'm done with this, moving on and shit. They're not. They're going to go at it for a little bit. And it's better to just wait till shit cools down because who wants to future people in a song when they got controversy going around? You know what I'm saying? So I do, if I am able to get them on a song one day, um, it will probably be a single for the next album. But um, another thing, yeah. So he was basically saying in this album, I mean, he was basically saying in his live that she fucked Dylan, her uh, apparent brother from Vision 4 because... They grew up with, they didn't grow up with Fisher. I don't know. That's what they say, you know, it was like child, it was male male's childhood friends and they were around them for a long time. So they can be, they consider, uh, Brooklyn, uh, Vision 4 as brothers and shit. But it seems like, you know, everybody made TikToks and shit, edits and shit about Dylan and, and, um, Brooklyn and, you know, I guess it was apparently true. It's Cinco exposed that they fucked. You know, they had, they did to do, or at least apparently tried to. He said that Brooklyn told him that he stuck it in, but then she made him pull out fast because she felt it was a wrong idea. And she said it isn't technically sex because nobody finished and nobody came. But it don't matter once you go that far rather if you get so, something stuck in you or you do the sticking <laughs> this is raps and yeah his story made it made sense i think he was being over exaggerated of course um i don't think she he i don't think she fucked ty Leo. 
and yeah, and then I yeah, I don't think she fucked Tyloo, but that's it. She was talking, you know, they're toxic because he was talking, apparently from her perspective, he was talking to heck of girls and stuff, having sex with them and doing all that shit and couldn't trust him. And then she was, from his perspective, he, um, um, she fucking, um, you know, uh, fucked Dylan when they went on their break. So they broke up and went on their break, and apparently she fucked Dylan, and then she was talking to all these other dudes and shit, and they just kept lying to it. What it sounds like is they kept lying to each other about bullshit or whatever, but the thing is, here's the thing. Every time it would make she would make it seem like he was lying about something, he would try and he would pull up evidence. Like, one minute, and it was when he showed the messages, it seemed like Brooklyn was bipolar. One minute she was cool or whatever, then the next minute she would call, and the next minute she would be like, what are you doing, talking to hoes or talking to the bitches or something like that and shit like that? And he would be like, babe, no, I'm going to call you right now. And he would try to FaceTime or whatever and shit like that. And she, she, she wouldn't answer and he would she would call him a whole bunch of bitch-ass niggas and pussy and shit like that or whatever. And you know, us niggas, we don't entertain shit like that. So once you start talking crazy to us like that, it's damn near raps. But, um, yeah, and apparently this is where it get worse. He uh, she said that she, uh, he be beating on her and shit, but he's saying that he be hitting on her and shit, and, yeah, and, um, he said that he broke up with her because she was, you know, um, she hit him with the purse that had the little metal chain on it, if you know what I'm talking about, she hit him, and he was damn near done after that. And, yeah, he also said that uh, he had to sign a contract just to date her because they believed that he was going to use her. And so Monique would take 20% of what he was making, damn near the whole check. Because when you first start off, you don't make that much. I mean, you make a good amount, but you don't make that much. You make at least 2000 or something, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And um, she brought it down to 15%, but uh, he said it's like $500 off, but... You know, it's just beefing, so we're going to react to it. That's the little rundown, and, uh, yeah. Uh, I might have to do this in two parts, because I just ordered a new SD card, but my phone can't. I mean, my camera needs more, needs another SD card and shit. Oh, fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, we finna, um... I might, nah, I think I just might do a whole... Um, I'm going to turn it down, because... Fuck, uh, yeah. The ads. Let me do not disturb. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um. <clears throat> Alright. So, this is where it starts. You know, this is where it starts. Right? Somewhere like this. All right, let me, I'm gonna skip this part, but three, two, one, we're watching now. Finger, he knows. Oh, shit, hold on. Now, let's talk about Brooklyn and Justin, because in my previous video, I mentioned them breaking up. Well, according to Justin, while they were separated, him and Brooklyn started talking to other people. He was talking to another girl. Brooklyn was allegedly talking to a dude named Dalen. Brooklyn was also Dylan. doing blonde day videos, but the at the time, Vision both 4. of them were single. Well, recently, Justin and Brooklyn started back talking to each other. And when they started back talking to each other, Justin told Brooklyn to unfollow Daylin and the other dudes that she did the blonde date with. Which Brooklyn did because they were back together. You feel me? Like, well, like you know, we back we back right with it. You feel me? Just unfollow these. She unfollow Cub. She unfollow Lil Tyler. Because Lil Tyler slid in her DM on some hard eyes. She unfollow him. She, no, un she, un she unfollow Dylan. Whatever. Because she had Dylan and her close friends. Only him and the close friends. Then I asked her why he and your close friends. She like. She only had Dylan and her close friends? Why wasn't Cinco and her fucking close friends? That's sketchy. Having close boy best friends is fucking scary, man. Oh, they all were my close friends. I just, I, okay. Cause I was wondering. I took it. I took it to a hair appointment at like eight in the morning. Cause I got up, drove her. 
up, bro. She get her hair done. She, I see her post a picture with her close friends. I'm like, dang. I'm like, I'm like, why is she posting her close friends? Like, what? Like, you for me, got the hair done. Why are you posting her close friends? I go look at your close friends list. Three in that bitch. Like four, five, whatever. But that, that was some other shit. But all right, tell her I follow you. This girl, right? Why this girl gonna go post on her story? So it was only they niggas in her close friends. What she say? I think Kira Shanae came out with a video, cause like. Oh, Sorry, I'm God. always eating. <laughs> Brooklyn unfollowed them, all that. She gonna post a, vi a picture on his page, girl. She gonna post a picture on her page, on, on her story and say, he made me unfollow him. What does that do? That make me know, like, okay. When they see that story, oh, she unfollowed me because her made her unfollow me. Well, according to Justin, he's saying that Brooklyn did cut Dalen off and that they were still talking and sleeping around with each other while she was still with Justin. Tell him how you f***ing dealing. On my soul, I ain't saying no more. Tell him how you f***ing dealing. Tell them how you f dealing. Because nobody, everybody think you don't do nothing. Tell them how you f dealing. And lied about that shit to me. Tell them how you did that, bro. Tell them how you, tell them how you lied. Tell them how you f you been lied in my fucking face. Tell them how you did that shit, bro. You want to uh, act like I hit? Tell them how you, bro. Tell them about all them nights I was tripping. Tell them about all them nights I was tripping. Calling your phone, making songs, e emailing you. Sick. God damn, that nigga sick to his stomach. That nigga hurt. Again, I'm not choosing sides. I'm just reacting to what I'm seeing. But damn, you can tell that nigga hurt. Man. Fuck. Thinking I'm tripping, and you fucking nigga. And you lied about it to my face and put it on your grain, nigga. It's weird because... He explained how exactly how, how it happened, how he found out that he that she, you know, did it with Dylan. And it sounds legit. I'm not saying it's true, but again, depending on, you know, um, how your trust is, it can go a lot. Put on your fucking granny, nigga, in my fucking face. Whole time he talking about it. Whole time I, I already know. You got me fucked up, nigga. You know I gave you I don't watch Vision 4, so I don't know about that shit. You play on me like I'm some type of bad nigga. The fuck? Got me fucked up, nigga. Now, Justin also stated in the video the way he found out that Brooklyn was cheating on him is through her mom. Her mom told his mom, which his mom told him. And her mama knew, nigga. Her mama told my mama, nigga. Monique, Monique is always in Brooklyn business because Brooklyn, she don't let Brooklyn fight her own battles as a young adult. She comes and fights them for her. And the problem is with no Monique is she don't act like a parent. She acts like a best friend to her child. And even in the live, uh, Cinco said that there was a one point where he disres she disrespected both of them because... They actually didn't agree with her on something, and she told them both to shut the fuck up. And, you know, any parent would, or at least the ones I know, would slap fire from their child from that shit. You talk about is this, they felt me crazy, cuz on the set, but they wanna, mm. y'all wanna go like that on the gang, bro. It's good, cuz it's good. Your mama knew, your mama encouraged it. Y'all just a weird family, bro. Except to say that's my crypto. Well, Justin said that he quickly ended things with Brooklyn because of that and some other things. Not make it seem like you have an option. Because before the Michael Rainey shit, before the Michael Rainey shit, this July 14th, this this what I get done. At least she treats me like I'm somebody. Yeah, the way she loved you is you were nobody. Nobody loved me when I was mm. nobody. Fuck the ad. There's something for everyone. I'm gonna cut the ad part bingo, out. Bingo. Work that shit out. I don't. I'm cool. I don't. You. What the? Send that shit to me for? Don't send that shit to me. It's over with. You fuck. But it's over with. If you watch the full line, if you were there, you totally understand. And I seen Brooklyn's part too, but I want to see more of her part because her shit don't add up. Give me my money for the door that you put holes in. Talk about. Goofy, just found out you did that with Cud. Like, this all ain't in well, order. Well, after the breakup happened again, people started wondering what was going on between the two because people started seeing little clues of certain things going on and they wanted to know more, which Brooklyn ended up dropping a video titled, I Finally Spoke Out. 
And she didn't bash him. The only reason he got mad in this video is because she said that it was mutual. But here's the thing. The break goes mutual. But here's the thing. If you actually seen his live and he showed evidence, he was trying to break up with her. She just turned it into a mutual breakup. And yes, that is possible if you don't know. I don't know how to explain. I'm not trying to defend his ass. I don't know who's right. I don't care what I do. I, I don't know, bro. It's just shit confusing, bro. No I couldn't do this toxic ass wow. shit. What? I had enough what of that shit. What is it gonna do for us? Nothing. Cause I understand exactly how that nigga felt. I went through what he went through. I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna do me. Like you subbing me and doing all that. If my camera stop. cuts off, it's you because know? it died, and I'll do a part two, or just put charge it and do a whole. But I fuck with y'all. It's just certain things I don't have time for anymore. We went our separate ways, so be it. Let it. Let us go our separate ways. Let us go our separate ways. Well, Justin dropped the video after her video because he was mad that Brooklyn lied and said that their breakup was mutual. We yeah, I told y'all. The fact about a mutual agreement, we gonna cut, we gonna cut, we gonna cut it right there. But it was no fuck. It was not no mutual agreement. Mm. Us breaking up was not no mutual agreement. Mm. At first, on my soul, <laughs> I was gonna go with it, keep it cool. Uh, it wasn't mutual, but now, bro. I see past everything, bro. I feel I'm, like this all could have been I'm, fixed I'm, with I'm just up, phone call. I, I'm, Took I'm, the mature I'm adult route right and just phone I, call. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be mad, okay? Because I said I was going to leave the situation alone. I went on, I went on, I went on YouTube not bashing this at all. Nobody's watching Which is the true. video, bro. She ain't bashing. Nobody's watching that shit. Watch the video. Watch the video. Every time I do something, it's so wrong. Every time this... He's right because he doesn't show y'all the real him. He's no, not, because he, he shows show evidence and his story so adds up. That's what she don't understand. Bro, Her not. shit not adding uh, up. I want to show the messages so bad. I post on my story about the leader. And then your family, your mom it, is the reason why. I have messages with this man. Your family be looking up. bad. Not even the shit. I love you. Be your mom, shit bro. Shit like that. You know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, we never talk, but you know, you know what we got to do. You know, that's mutual as f as mutual as bro. I called this nigga today to tell his ass to leave me alone. I called this nigga time yesterday telling tell him to leave me alone. Yes, leave me alone. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, I <laughs> this man got me bro, like this ruined my life. I swear to God, like I've never been like this. I swear, I've never been like this. Ruining my life, he's ruining my brain, he's ruining my character, bro. Everybody just believe in this man, like, no, I shouldn't care. I know I shouldn't care. Both their faults, they should have kept it off the fucking media. All it took was a phone call. She ain't have to speak on shit the first time. If she wanted him to leave her alone and keep her name out of his mouth, the best thing she could have done was, instead of making a video saying... This is the last time I'm, I'm addressing it and I'm done. She could have just called that nigga. And if that would have happened, he wouldn't have made another video, a video retaliating and we wouldn't be here right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's both y'all faults. Like, and yeah, you know, people talk a lot, but here's the thing y'all been on, y'all been doing this YouTube shit for years now, especially you, Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you got to be used to it, but I'm saying it should be easier for you. You would expect Cinco to fold more than you, you know what I'm saying? But I know how people can get to you, but the best thing you could have done was just, like you said, keep people guessing. Keep that shit off the internet. Phone call, this whole fucking situation would have been avoided. Now, both of them are going to get ten times the hate and ten times the love. But it's like, now you're playing with me. <laughs> I am too young. I'm too young to be going through this shit, bro. Especially on the internet, bro. I only went on YouTube to talk about this shit because it's live, going live, going to stories and all that shit. He didn't make a YouTube video dedicated to this shit, but he for sure mentioned something in the fucking video, bro. Like, come on, bro. He's trying to play y'all. He knows he got y'all wrapped around his finger. He knows. He knows y'all niggas bashing me. He knows. He loves that shit. He loves it. Like, he loves it. 
I get the boat. Get on, like I swear to God, where is all this shit coming from? Like I shouldn't even post it on video. I'm trying to like be talking about save, bro. I fucking saved you throughout the whole video. I didn't speak on nothing. Well, I guess it, it's time for her to speak to, like, because you know, that nigga did. Like, his story what makes sense and her shit don't. So I think she should. What are you talking about? Not to be Leave messy, but if she want to save her own ass. I'm not asking. I'm not being disrespectful. Like people are coming telling me like he's liking he's liking um comments. That's what I'm saying. Like that bash me in the video. But hold on. At the same time. In her video when she made this, she was admitting that she was liking comments too. So, you know, accountability on both parts. They're bo That's the thing when it comes to this shit. Both sides are wrong about something. You know, it's not the typical, oh, he or she cheated and I didn't do anything wrong so I had to leave him. It's more so of there were big problems that led to this shit and y'all both at fault. But... I did not once bash him. All I said was, leave me alone. I can't tell him that. I can't tell him that. I tried talking to him privately on the phone yesterday. I called him three. Um, I'm going to have to charge my camera battery. So, I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to do a part two. I think I'm going to continue this and I'm going to keep everything where it's at. Love you guys. If you see me in a different environment or in the same one, just different color, you know, it got darker. But yeah, we gonna be back.